Hey guys. Oh my god, my hair. Sorry, the internet here sucks. Technically, I'm good. So, long story short, they were having a homecoming parade today, and Chase went to work, and I wanted to bring Liam down to the homecoming parade, and we left, got down there, and um, I was only there for like 20 minutes. I did not know how hot it was. If I would have realized how hot it was, I wouldn't have went. I didn't realize how hot it was before I knew it. Um, I just felt like I was, I, I knew something was going to happen. And um, I just, I was hot, I was dizzy, I was, you know, really lightheaded. Starting to kind of see spots, it, it was getting really bad. Anyway, went over to the nearest cop car. Yeah, I know I'm pale. My blood sugar is down. Or not my blood sugar, my blood pressure is really low. Um, found the nearest cop. He got, to, he got out and helped me. Took care of Liam for me. Called an ambulance. I was sitting down. They went to stand me up. They stood me up. My heart rate jumped through the roof. They connected these to me while I was sitting down. And they had these connected to me. Um, watching my heart rate. Had a blood pressure cuff on me. And um, I went to stand up. They said my heart rate jumped through the roof. And I was out. I woke up with them putting me on a stretcher and they put me on some fluids which we got this I had two bags in the um, ambulance I think they're gonna be putting me on yeah Max was with me Max is right here And, um, yeah, Max was there, uh, there were too many people around me when, right before I passed out, that he wasn't, someone was holding him, and so he wasn't able to alert. Like, I remember seeing him trying to pull to get to me, but, um, the guy was holding his leash, because they were trying to check me out, so that, um, a guy was holding his leash, and I remember seeing Max like trying to pull to come to me and um, you know the guy was holding his leash and he wasn't able to um, so yeah he's here with me he rode in the ambulance with me um, he did not like he was on the stretcher with me he did not like trying to balance on the stretcher it was kind of funny he was just like he kept wobbling um, we got here we're waiting So now I'm just waiting. Oh, that's a lot of people. Yeah, I'll be okay. It's just, um, I've had issues like this before in the past where I got it so bad I had to come to the hospital, but I never knew. Because I hadn't been diagnosed with POTS, I never knew why. And so, um, the nurses already talked to me. And they said, yep, if you've got POTS, that's why it happened. So, we've already talked about that. Um, waiting for someone to come back in. Hook me up to more fluids. Uh, yeah. I was trying to film with my GoPro. Because my hair is like awful. Oh, um, my blood pressure is so low. My heart rate is fine. Is my GoPro working? I think it died. I was trying to film the parade. And uh, I think... They were going to 
to try to move me um, into some air conditioning. Um, there was, we were in front of a tax insurance place or whatever, and um, the people came out and offered to grab Liam and bring Liam, Liam in, and um, an officer went in with them to stay there with Liam. Uh, grandma came and got Liam. They should be on the way here. They should be up here soon. Um, blah, 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 what was I saying? So Liam got put in the air conditioning, and there's an officer with him, you know, to make sure that, you know, he was fine. And um, then they were trying to stand me up to get me into the air to try to, you know, help me try to figure out what we needed to do. And I, they went stand me up. I was like, I'm probably going to pass out when you stand me up. And they're like, what? I was like, that's part of pots. And I was like, I already feel like I'm going to pass out. I was like, I can feel it. I was like, the moment you stand up, if my blood, because my blood pressure was bottomed out, like my blood pressure was so low. I was like, the moment y'all stand me up, my blood pressure is going to completely bottom out, and my heart is going to skyrocket. I was like, and I'm going to be out. And so there was um, the guy in front of me. He was holding my hands, holding my arms. And then there was a guy behind me holding, like, my waist, you know, to be there to catch me if I fell. I'm assuming they caught me. Nothing hurts. So I'm assuming they caught me. Yeah, I should be good. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I wanted, all I wanted to do was bring Liam to the parade. Like, all I was trying to do was bring my son. Um, Chase was not with me. He was at work. Um, I made my way over to the police officer, and the police officer is the one who got the medics down. Um, yeah. From what Chase is at work, I've already called him. He knows what's going on. He asked me if I wanted him to leave. I told him, you know, not to worry about it, to stay at work, and I'd call him if I needed him to leave. I fixed my hair. <laughs> that is such a crappy job, but I'm so hot. I haven't cooled off. Oh, yeah. Well, I've been having a worse day since the test yesterday. I, I think all those tests have just kind of... I'm, I'm in that hangover period, and um, which I've always had, like, this issue that, like, I've always had, like, my hangover period. And all of those tests definitely put me in the hangover period, and I think... Going, trying to go out today and not realizing how hot it was just made it worse. Bye, Kitty. It's crazy. Thanks, Rachel. Well, it's not that I just passed out. It's that I severely overheated and passed out, and I'm having some other issues. Yeah, hospital Wi-Fi sucks. I don't care about how I look, but I mean, look at how pale I am. Does it, you really think I care about how I, no, oh, okay. Oh, hang on, I gotta hide the messages. Look at how pale my face is. I have no makeup on. If I cared that much how I looked, I wouldn't be alive right now. <laughs> that thing's annoying. But like my hair, my hair's awful. Okay, let me, let me look at what y'all are saying. Whoa. <laughs> You're a butt. Uh, um, basically, my pot is being an ass. So, yeah. And I just got too bad. Passed out with the medics when medics got to me. I went to a parade. Went to a parade, got too hot, found an officer to help me because I had Liam with me and I didn't want Liam to be alone or something happened to us to be alone. Um, 
medics got there, they stood me up. I told them I was going to pass out um, if they stood me up. They stood me up anyway. I went out, and because, you know, I was passed out and wasn't completely coherent when I woke up and I couldn't answer my questions at first, they had to put me in the ambulance, and they hooked me up to fluids. Um, I told them, I was like, lay me down flat, because they had my head lifted up like this is. I was like, I remember telling them, I was like, lay my head down flat and get my legs as high as you can. So they lifted my legs up and laid me back flat. I went through two bags of fluid in the ambulance. So. I'm okay. I feel like crap. But I'm bored. Like, I don't want to just sit here with nothing to do. Yes, Max is with me. Guys, I have to pee so bad, and I don't want to stand up. They didn't give me my button to hit either. There's Maxie. He's asleep. Do, 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 do. Look at all these electrodes from the freaking ambulance. They, like, they put, like, so many different electrodes on me. One of them got torn off and stuck on Max's paw. It was funny. Pazza's postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. I've had hospital food. I haven't been here long, so. Well, if I stand up, I might pass out, and there's no one with me. I need to, though. I mean, I just got two bags of fluids. Like, I need to pee. I'm sorry. I'm okay, guys. I'm just, um, I don't feel good. <sighs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I don't feel good. I'm burning up still. Um, I'm still really dizzy. I'm just rough day. I'm hurting really bad, too. Like, I'm really hurting. Um, I adopted Max and started training him. Nah, thanks, Rachel. Uh, just rewind to the four, the, the, the beginning of the, the live. No, I'm not letting people cast me, no. Yeah, I don't feel where they are. Like, I keep forgetting they're there until I see them. <laughs> I don't feel good. Don't make fun of me yawning. <laughs> I'm so hot. I'm okay. I, or at least I'll be okay. Well, it'd be great if they would hurry up. Someone would come back, give me more fluids, because I had I've had two bags from the ambulance. They need to give me more fluids. It'd be great if they'd hurry up and do that. And give me the bathroom. If you're just tuning in, rewind to the beginning of the live to catch up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It is cold. My fingers, like my hands are really cold, but the rest of me feels like it's burning up. But my hands are like, my hands are freezing. Like my fingers are freezing. And it feels like they're like so cold, like that's why I keep like touching my face. Because my hands are freezing, the rest of me is burning up right now. My kids like juvie. Send me baby bird pictures. Of course, all this happened the day before my birthday. I wonder if Chase is eating raspberries. I don't know. He's at work. Hell no, I'm not doing that. I'll stand up and go pee. Thank you. I like my nails too. Thank you. 
<laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. Those fluids like run straight through you though. That was something else me and the doctor had talked about was fluids. And like lots and lots of fluids. And if I go to the emergency room, if I ever have to go to the doctor or the emergency room to make sure that I get fluids. So as much fluids as they'll give me. So guys, this is gonna be a really fun hospital bill to pay. <laughs> But um, they did say, the nurse said that they can apply for Medicaid for me to try to get me on health insurance so they can apply for it for me. And since I finally got my POTS diagnosis and everything, um, maybe that'll help me get on Medicaid. Turquoise is the color of dysautonomia. We're in this month, which is October. Seriously, that's like my favorite color. That is so awesome because I got it done for my birthday because my birthday's tomorrow. And, um, whew. It matches my dress, but that is so awesome. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah, in the United States, all the government cares about is money. You gotta pay. Do you guys it's a thousand dollars just for a bag of saline? Just for one bag of fluids. They charge you a thousand dollars and it takes less than a dollar to make a bag of fluids. And they charge you a thousand dollars for it. Let's play some games. I need a better name. Rewind to the beginning of the live stream. And you can catch up. I don't want to keep... Um, I don't want to repeat it again. Uh, how do you get pods? It's just... I don't understand exactly how you get it. It's just something that kind of just starts forming. Um, you just start with it. Yeah, I saw that, Rachel. Alright, guys. I will go live again in a little bit. I'm going to try to get up. I think I'm going to scoot on my butt to the door. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scoot on my butt to the door. And, um... That way I don't have to actually stand up all the way. Like, I'm going to scoot down to the floor, sit down, scoot my butt on the floor. Go to the door like, hey, can someone bring me a wheelchair so I can go pee? And that, that's what I'm going to do. Um, Max is here. Hang on. Max is here. Alright guys, I'll see you guys later. I need the bathroom. <laughs> I am going to scoot my butt. And I'll go live again a little bit. Because I'm sure I'm going to be bored again. Bye guys.